Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Really appreciate it. So right now in Japan, they're having the Tokyo Auto Show, which, you know, we got to see some Type R's. Yes. Some of that Mugen goodness. Yum. Um, <laughs> Honda also announced their Civic RS. It's, it's kind of like the equivalent of the SI in the, in the United States in certain, you know, countries. They sell the Sedan RS, which is, like I said, equivalent to the SI. Now, for me, this Civic RS looks like it's got a completely different design than what we have here in the States. So maybe it got my little tiny brains and wheels circling. Possibly a 2025 facelift, maybe. I don't know. But let's go ahead and check out some of the goodiness that comes with this. Um, like I said, this is an equivalent to the SI in the United States. Um, they just have, you know, just they just do different things over there. I don't know, man. Alrighty, so here we go. I dig that that blackness though, the dark color. It's sick. I like it. I think that they it it's a missed opportunity here, in my opinion. How the whole contrast of the car is all black. I think they could have went with the black Honda badge. I don't know, just just go all in. Make it a black <laughs> black edition of the Civic RS, in my opinion. I think that would have been hard. That would have been sick. You know, or maybe like a like a different tone of um of black for the emblems cuz it just seems like it's out of place for some reason. I don't know why. It seems like it is. But you guys let me know in the comments. What do you guys think of the design? Because um, this is completely different than we offer here in the States. This one is trying to kind of mirror the style of the Type R. Just just, just a little bit. Just just ugh, a little tiny bit. Um, what we don't know is what kind of motor that's going to be inside. I'm assuming it's going to be a 1.5 turbo. Because that's what they've been producing. Um, it's not going to be a... Uh, it's not going to be the the two liter that they've been selling without the turbo. Uh, definitely 1.5 turbo. Um, reading between the lines, a JDM spec Civic RS could mirror the specs of US spec Civic SI. The latter benefits from a limited slip differential, rev matching tech, stiffer uh, springs, revised dampers, thicker stabilizer bars, larger brakes, 200 horsepower from the 1.5 turbo. We learn more information about the 2024 RS as we get closer to its debut in Japan in the fall. So definitely going to keep an, keep an eye on this one. And, uh, and I will report back when I have more information. Because right now we don't have a lot of information. I just know the fact that this um, Civic looks completely different than the one there uh, that's out there right now in the market. So I'm assuming this is going to be coming in the next year or so to the states i could be wrong you know and i'll admit it because the i think the redesign happened in 2023 right that's when it happened give me one second so the redesign happened in about what 2022 um so we should expect to see another uh facelift or um just a minor change in 2025 that's when they'll do the minor, you know, just like a facelift. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm thinking that this is going to be the 2025 uh, Civic hatchback in the United States market. But, you know, it's, it's, I could be wrong. I'll admit it. I could be wrong. This is a wild speculations. So take it with a grain of salt. And this is just me speculating. But knowing how Honda operates their business, they usually do three years is when they'll give it like a minor change in the way that the vehicle looks and then um after five years then that's when they do it a they revamp the whole you know like everything about it and sometimes they'll carry over the engine to the next generations so we've had the earth dream engine for two generations already i think two generations i might do some research on that let me let me let me let me look it up real quick um so the 1.5 turbo believe in, I think it was released in 2021 um, with the 10th generation. 10th um, generation is when they switched over to the 1.5 turbo 
and then now we're in the 11th generation and the 1.5 ter uh, turbo has been carried over to the 11th generation it's more refined now um, a little bit better than what it was before and minor tweaks here and there they kind of fix the issues that they've had in the previous with the oil dilution i don't think they have that issue now with the oil dilutions and then when we go over to the 10th uh, 12th generations they might be a change on the platform that they're using when it comes to their engine or maybe we'll just keep the same 1.5 turbo but who really knows what honda is going to decide what they want to do but all i know for a fact is possibly the grain of salt that this might be the 2025 civic hatchback that's coming to the states or even the sedan because those have very similar look when it comes to the front of the vehicle the only one that kind of separated itself is the type r so who really knows if we're going to get another type r in the next generations the 12th generations but who knows but anyway let me know in the comments below and stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as always i appreciate y'all